Hey everyone, David Shapiro here with a uh, weekly update for Project Raven. But before we jump into that, I wanted to um, share this with you guys. So NVIDIA is a company that I'm working with. It's public information. We had a My startup had a press release that we're uh, in the NVIDIA Inception program. And I saw this article just now and I said, yes, we need to talk about this. So NVIDIA predicts that AI models 1 million times more powerful than ChatGPT will be here within 10 years. And this is why projects like Raven are so important. So the TLDR is that as uh, neural networks get bigger, they get deeper, more training data, we get better optimizations, so on and so forth. And as uh, also the underlying hardware is getting better really quick. So you look at the way that things are scaling up and it just goes, keeps going. This is why I am confident when I say we will be facing 70% unemployment by 2030, because you think of how useful chat GPT is right now. Imagine chat GPT two, three, four, five, six versions later with hardware that is 10,000 times more powerful on models that are 10,000 times more sophisticated. This is coming and it's coming fast. So with all that said, <laughs> let's talk about how to make sure that once artificial general intelligence and then artificial super intelligence and global intelligence, whatever you want to call it, as it's coming, how do we make sure that it's safe? How do we make sure that it isn't going to kill us all and that it does what we want, et cetera, et cetera? So there's a few components of this problem. One is just the software. How do you write the code? How do you even generalize the principles of intelligence into code, into language, so that a machine can do it? So that is the, that is the first pro uh, problem of developing a cognitive architecture like Raven. And so if you're new, Raven is my open source project for creating an artificial cognitive entity or autonomous cognitive entity. That's actually what we're pivoting to. ACE, autonomous cognitive entity is a machine that can think on its own uh, indefinitely and ideally will be safe. I've written a few books on this topic, so on and so forth. So that is the purpose of this project. And with that, I have a whole bunch of stuff, code, experiments, books, so on and so forth. But as you can see, we have 541 stars, 58 forks, uh, 69 watchers. What we are working on with this project right now, we're on consensus step two to define a consensus policy. And so for some background, the idea is that something as important as AGI, artificial global intelligence, or autonomous cognitive entities, whatever, digital superintelligence. Something like this is entirely too important for it to be developed entirely behind closed doors. So one of the chief goals, one of the foremost goals of my project is to have the development be completely transparent and as participatory as possible. That's what we're working on. And so consensus, capital C consensus, is a method of inviting more people to the table. Now, we're learning lessons as we go. So for instance, not everyone is qualified to uh, contribute, but everyone's voice should be heard. And so we're working on the nuances of, of that. So for instance, one of the tools that we're looking at is using Kialo. So I did a, a test uh, Kialo here, where it's basically like you have a, you have a problem, you have a few proposals, and then you pick apart those proposals. And so this is a way of organizing and formalizing debate. I don't know if this is the way that we'll go. Certainly not in public, not fully in public. Um, we're working through the process of consensus. So we're basing it on a book called Consensus Through Conversation, uh, which is has a five step process, five or six step process. Um, and we're on step two, which is set the decision criteria, which is a list of criteria that whatever proposal you end up coming with uh, or coming to or decision that you come to, these are the criteria that must be met in order for it to be considered successful. So I use GPT-3 to summarize all the conversations 
into a list of must-haves, nice-to-haves, and must-not-haves. And people seem to like that summary. So we have, we have some boundaries for our consensus policy that we're working on. So then the question is, okay, why? What do we use consensus for? Consensus will likely be used for making architectural decisions on how to deploy Raven. So this will be things like, you know, what kind of containers to use, what, what kind of cloud services to use, um, the, uh, the definitions uh, around, you know, release one, the MVP, release two, that sort of thing. It probably, oh, we'll also use it to make decisions around like what communication channels should we use? Should we use like a shared Google calendar? Should we use, you know, uh, Discord or Slack or whatever? It probably will not extend into the full governance of, of the whole Raven project. So my startup is, is almost certainly going to own the, 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 the product, the overall process. Um, we're talking with various uh, potential investors and customers um, in order to figure that out. Talking to the CTO of my startup, we will probably, or at least where we're looking right now, is we will probably uh, professionally code the Nexus service and the conductor service. And then at, once we establish all those guidelines, all the, all the standards, all the APIs and the deployments and stuff, then as there's, as there's a common framework, then everyone else will be able to contribute microservices um, as they wish. And we'll probably have templates um, so that if you have an idea for a microservice that you want to create, you can just copy a baseline repository throw it in and it'll have all the, all the, you know, uh, basic authentication and other, uh, telemetry bells, whistles, and knobs and levers that you need to get started. But we will probably own fully own the Nexus and the conductor, maybe a couple other baseline services. We'll see. That's the direction that we're going right now. Um, so it is getting organized. It is coming together. My startup is also, uh, we're in crunch time for releasing our first product. So that's why again, uh, uh, <laughs> progress is slow, but this is also part of consensus too. Something this important deserves the time that it's going to take. So with all that said, we are in the middle of step two of consensus. Um, this time next week, next Friday, we will, uh, call, um, consensus step two. We'll bring that to a close and then we'll start workshopping the actual proposal. Uh, for our consensus. So I'll probably draft something, uh, a bunch of other people will contribute, and we will get to something where, um, you know, the community will vote on it. So that's where we're at. Those are the stakes. And thanks for watching.